jump. You went through some physical therapy, right? You worked on some quad work, correct? Maybe some hamstring work. Got some pretty good shoes. We talked about your shoes last time, and, and uh, we're, we're hopeful that that was going to at least help a little bit. But the real reason we're here is to get your, get your body uh, re to respond to a different position when you're playing, whether it's volleyball, basketball, or you run, so that when you run and walk, both of those legs can move like they're supposed to underneath your trunk and your pelvis. That's what we're here for. And conventional physical therapy and conventional strengthening didn't seem to be doing the, the job. I think it would be good if you tell us and tell uh, the listener out there, tell us more about this knee. Is it on the inside that it bothers you? Just yeah, point to it. Where's right it here hurt? on the inside. Okay. And it's not, it's never on the other side, is it? And it doesn't go on the outside of your knee, and it's not necessarily in the front of your knee. So that's a valgum moment of stress. She's just going into too much internal rotation and adduction with that left leg. And right now, on a scale of one to 10, you know, 10 is like a needle in the eye kind of pain. Where are you at as you sit there with, those, with the knee in the back? Where do you think you're at? Seven or eight. It's up there. That's a lot of pain. It's mostly my calf today, but that's because I tore cool. it. Okay. So we all should talk about that a little bit. She loves using her calf as her glutes. So you would know right away if we help you out with your calf pain because you, you, would, have, you would feel a better, you'd feel like it would ease up even as you sit there. Right now it's just going at it, isn't it? Okay. Guys, move you over here, okay? This is much, I'll be real careful. About right there? Yeah. Okay, so Heidi will give her about 70, 70-ish. 70 and on the right side, no problem, 90 plus, right? Would you agree? Yeah. And just for the record, if I take your leg and I push on it, and I hold, I'll be careful. What did you see her squirm, guys? I'll be careful. We'll probably not get the 70 out of you. I'll stop when you tell me to. Tell me when to stop. Right there. So that's all she's got. And I just kept her foot neutral, and here we go. You see that, Dad? So we're all the way up. That thing is talking to you. So we're going to put her in a splint, even today, to keep the occlusion out of the picture, because I think the occlusion is having an impact on where she's carrying her body weight, as well as the space around here, around her is still being uh, poorly managed by her visual system, or visual cortex, not system, her visual cortex, and therefore you have two blows going against her. One is, where am I supposed to be in space, Ryan? And number two is, I think I know where I'm supposed to be in space. My teeth tell me that, my neck tell me that, and unfortunately it's not correct. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna open this door, you're gonna walk down the hallway, come on back in, we'll check you out, and we'll keep moving, okay? okay. and we're gonna ask you some questions as far as what you feel. We want you to feel as much of the floor as we can. So let's just squat a little bit and hang for a while. Put your hands on the floor if you can. And, and do you hurt? Is there any pain in your back? Would there have been pain there earlier if we'd have done that, do you think? Normally I can't go past here. Okay, so you got all the way down pretty well. You wanna squat and make sure to come on the middle room a little bit, just right there, squat down. No knee pain. No calf pain. Back no on back. your hip. No back pain. No pain. From a seven to a zero. Awesome. I think you get it. Do you have any questions at all? Yeah. We're going to stop right there. We have you in a position for your visual system and your neck to allow you to play volleyball.